Hi, my name is Jesse, and today I'm going to be teaching you about the mountain bikes that you can rent here at the Outdoor Resource Center. So first, let's go over the bike parts. To begin, we're going to start with the handlebars. This is where both of your hands are going to be placed when you're riding this bike. Simply just make sure that nothing in the rubber is torn or damaged in any way. These are the brakes. This is what's going to help you stop the bike. Now, the right brake is going to be for the rear tire, and the left brake is going to be for the front tire. Now, you want to make sure that you're braking with both brakes every time, and you're going to want to make sure that you apply a nice slow pressure in order to brake smoothly. Underneath the handlebars, we have our stanchions. These control the suspension of the front tire, and you want to make sure that they are unlocked the entire time. We also have our wheel. Um, when checking the wheel, you want to make sure that it's not rubbing up against any part of the frame or uh, our brake disc, which is what we use uh, in order to brake. If you took everything else off of the bike, you would be left with the frame. When checking out, you just want to make sure that the frame is nice and clean, there's not too much um, dirt or anything else that could possibly get inside of the bike. On the bottom of the frame, we have our cranks. This is where you're going to put both of your feet in order to pedal the bike. And on the top of the frame, you're going to have your saddle. This is where you're going to be sitting. You just want to make sure that it's adjusted properly to your height and that there's nothing coming out of it that could possibly hurt you. And connected to the crank is the chain. You're going to want to run your hand across this just to make sure that it's properly lubed, not too much, not too little, just the right amount. The chain is connected to the cassette, and the cassette is what allows you to move up and down gears. The derailleur is what allows you to move the chain up and down the cassette. You can control the derailleur with the handlebars. You'll find the gear shift on the right handlebar. The smaller gear shift allows you to go up in gear and adds resistance as you pedal. The larger gear shift goes down in gear and applies less resistance when you pedal, making it easier. Always inspect every part of the bike along with an Outdoor Pursuits staff member in order to make sure that every part works before leaving the Outdoor Resource Center. You'll also inspect it when you return it. When getting ready to go on a bike ride, it's important to have the proper gear and clothing. First, you're going to need a helmet. We also have these to rent out here at the ORC. Next, you're going to need some kind of eyewear. Harsh sunlight, bugs, and low-hanging branches can impede your vision. It's important to wear these to protect your eyes when you're going at high speeds. You're also going to want to make sure you have a watch to keep track of time and make sure you're not staying out too late. Synthetic or breathable clothing is very important to wear, as well as making sure that you're not wearing any baggy clothes so it doesn't get caught up in the chain or any other part of the bike. You're also going to want to make sure that you have closed-toed shoes uh, to prevent any kind of foot injury. In case of an emergency, you're going to want to make sure that you have an ID and any kind of spare cash, as well as a phone in case you need to call anyone in an emergency. Last but not least, you're also going to want to make sure that you have water. Now that you're suited up, let's ride. When you're on your bike, make sure both feet are on the pedals and that there is always a slight bend in your knees with your butt on or above the saddle. Bend your arms slightly and keep your back at a 45 degree angle. To avoid injury, when going over rough terrain, stand up, level your pedals, and absorb shock through your knees and elbows. Make sure you keep your weight centered. Shift your weight forward when going uphill and back when going downhill. Make sure to operate the bicycle with at least one hand on the handlebars at all times. Use your left hand to signal as to keep your right hand on the brakes at all times. You are considered a vehicle, so leave the sidewalks to the pedestrians. Ride on the rightmost side of the road unless you are passing someone else, making a left turn, or it becomes unsafe to do so. Obey all road signs and lights. When passing others on the trail, remember to let them know where you're headed. Stay on your left so they know that you're approaching. Remember when going over obstacles, level your pedals, have your back at a 45 degree angle, and bend your knees and elbows slightly to absorb shock and avoid injury. When approaching a traffic light or sign, make sure you're letting the person behind you know what your next move is. When turning right, raise your left hand and point up at a 90 degree angle. When making a left turn, raise your left hand and point out to the left. 
and when stopping, lower your left hand at a 90 degree angle. Now for some rules. Here are some guidelines from the Texas Transportation Code for Bicycles. It's important to carry no more than the intended number of passengers on the bike. Remember, one saddle means one butt. Also, when riding at night, make sure that you have one white light that shines 500 feet in front of you and one red light that shines 500 feet behind you. It's important that when you're riding, you want to make sure that you allow other people to enjoy the outdoors just as much as you can. This means minimizing your impact by riding on designated trails, not playing too loud music, passing and yielding others with care, and cleaning up after yourself. Thank you, and happy trips.